Hey guys, Alva here, and welcome back to our Swift series. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you about arithmetic operators in Swift, and then we'll cover escape characters in Strix. Let's get started. So first of all, arithmetic operators. Now, if you guys ever learned mathematics in preschool, maybe first, second grade, you guys covered addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, so on and so forth. That same stuff applies to programming languages, and in this case, in Swift, we have the exact same symbols. Now this addition, subtraction, this stuff can be applied to numbers. I can go ahead and say 12 plus 15, that's gonna give me 27. I can go ahead and say 37 minus five, that'll give me 32. That same stuff can be applied to variables because what are variables? Variables are just memory allocations. So I'm gonna go ahead and create num1 is equal to 10, num2 is equal to three, and let's go ahead and perform the various arithmetic operations that we know. Whoops, I forgot bar over here, bar num1, bar num2, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and say num1 plus num2. That's going to give me 13. Num1 minus num2. That's going to go ahead and give me 7. I'm going to say num1 times num2. And num1 divided by num2. All right? So these are the four basic operations. Plus, minus. For multiply, again, it's not the x that you might normally see with multiplication. It's star. So shift 8. And then division is just backslash. So num1 plus num2, num1 minus num2, num1 times num2, num1 divided by num2, okay? So immediately when you notice 10 divided by three, we get three. It's not 3.333, which it's supposed to be. And why is that? The reason for that is because we use integers. Num1 is an integer, it cannot have a decimal value. Num2 is an integer, it cannot have a decimal value. If you divide two integers together, you are not gonna get a decimal value. That's why num1 divided by num2 is three, and not 3.333, because the answer has to be an integer. If you made these to 0 0.0 and made this to 0 0.0, you would get 3.333, the answer that we want, okay? So that's division for you. Now comes a new symbol that you guys might have covered in a different language, maybe not, and that is modulus. Num1 mod, and the symbol for mod is shift five, so the percent side, num2. Num1 mod num2 basically means that, hey, Divide num1 by num2, except instead of giving me the answer, give me the remainder. So the modulus operator is the remainder function. And that gives us one. Why? Because 10 divided by three goes into three times and we have a remainder of one. Fantastic. Now comes the increment and decrement operators. For example, let's say we have num1. We want to increase it by two. We could say num1 plus or num1 is equal to num1 plus two, but that's a lot of code to write. Instead, Swift allowed us to create an easier way of doing this by saying num1 plus equal to, and then any number you want to increment it by. So we want to increment num1 by two, we're going to say num1 plus equal to two, and all this is saying is, hey, num1 should be equal to itself plus two. In the exact same way, you can decrement num1. You could say num1 should be itself minus two, and now we're back to the exact same num1 value, which is 10. So 10 plus two, 12, 12 minus two is 10, and now we get 10 back over here. Fantastic. The last thing I wanna cover is escape characters. Now we were dealing with strings, okay? We were dealing with, hey, sentence is equal to, forgot the bar, bar sentence is equal to, hi, my name is Avi, okay? That's a perfect sentence. But what if we want to put actual quotation marks in the sentence? So I'm gonna put quotation marks around my name. I want this to be part of a sentence. What Swift sees is that, hey, this is a string, this is a string, what is Avi doing in the middle? It doesn't know what's going on. If you actually wanna put quotation marks in your sentence and not denote them as the beginning and ending of a string, you put a slash in front of it. This is known as escape characters, and by doing so, we basically nullify this quotation mark. We say that, hey, don't interpret it as code, interpret it as a normal string. The exact same symbols you might see as slash n. Slash n stands for, hey, new line. So if I do slash in my code, I'm gonna go ahead and get hi, and then my name is Avi. And if I print this out, you'll take a look, print sent. I'll go ahead and see over here, hi, new line, my name is Avi with quotation marks. That's exactly what we wanted. You can also put single quotation marks, that works as well. So if I say Avi and then single quotation marks like this, I'll get in single quotation marks the exact same thing, hi, my name is Avi. And there's various other escape characters you can explore and play around with. Anyways, fantastic job. Quick recap, we covered arithmetic operators, we understood plus, minus, multiply, divide, modulus, incrementing with plus equal to and minus equal to, and last but not least, 
escape characters in strings by putting a slash in front of the character to nullify it and make sure that Swift doesn't interpret it as code and rather part of the string. Anyways, thanks so much for listening, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next lecture.